Amen. My name is Lucy Kanini Lucy Amtuko. Anaitwa Lucy Kanini. Natoka Machakos. I come from Machakos. Anatoka Machakos. Would you speak Swahili? There is no problem. You can speak Swahili. Natoka Machakos. Lakini naishi Nairobi. Nimekaa Nairobi miaka mingi sana hapo. Nilikuja hapo nikiwa msichana kutafuta kazi after high school. Alafu nimezalia watoto wangu wote hapo. Niko na three daughters. And I've worked there, I've done business there for so many years. Sasa, ile kitu kimenilete uku, <laughs> nataka ufraye na mimi sana because this is very, very uh, strange. Isi ya kawaida. Si ya kawaida kabisa sababu nilianzia, uh, nilianzia hapo nyuma kidogo. Na nitaweka hivi tabu chini ndio nieleze hivi. Ndugu yangu mkubwa anaitwa Dr. Luusa. Alikuwa mgonjwa diabetes and high blood pressure. Alikuwa na kidonda moja ime ime imekuwa hapa kwa mguu and you know when you get a wound ya ukiwa na diabetes hyponangi haraka. Si mnajua hiyo? Yes. Sasa akawa aponi, akakaa hospitali two good years. Sasa kuna mama moja anaitwa Christine Nduku alikuwa ametoka tunatoka na yeye kule Masi, kwetu ni Masi. Akaja akasema tunasikia ndugu yenu saa yote yako hospitali atokangi hospitali mbona mbona amekaa sana hospitali tukamwambia hai hata hatujui ni sababu ya hiyo diabetes na hiyo two years tumelipa over a million shillings now we are tunadaiwa 600,000 Kenya shillings it's a lot of money sasa akatuambia nataka munipeleke nikamuombe tukajua eh nduko unaenda kuombea my brother sasa sababu anatoka nyumbani si unajua ile saying ya kwamba ukitoka mahali Watu hapo mahali ya wakupei respect sana sa zingine. Yeah. So, ika watu kaona, nduku wakasema tumpeleke, haka muombe. Na haka tuuliza, muta, muta, muta shituka niki, niki mutupia tumaji kidogo. Mi ni my mind ni kafikiria ni hile ya wakatoliki. You know, Catholics have got water, praying water, holy water. Asa mimi siku jali sana, so nikambia my sister, akuje tuende. Tukaenda tukapeleka Christi nduku kwa hiyo hospitali. Haka muombea, haka muombea, haka muombea. <coughs> Excuse me, nikona cold. Haka muombea, haka muombea, ndiyo sasa. Haka ingia kwa mkuko yake, andibagi yake, haka chukua maji iko hapo. Haka muombea fungua mdomo, haka fungua mdomo, haka mfanyia swa. Swa, haki muombea, haki muombea. Haka sema, utatoka kwa hiyo hospitali na utapona. Na hii hospitali utarudi tena. Tuka maliza visiting, tuka kula chakula na ee. Na si tukaenda nyumbani. That was December of... Not this December, the last one. Uh, 2016. Sasa 2016, hii 2017, tuka, 2016, tukasema, tutaenda kumuchukua, tumpeleke nyumbani, akakule Christmas na watoto wake na family. Tukaenda, tukamuchukua. Makiu, akutoka immediately. Si unajua, lazima kuwe na process, tutafute pesa, tuende tulipe hiyo balance. Alapu tuende, tukaulize kama tunaweza kupewa ye, tumpeleke Christmas. Tukaenda, tukamupeleka Christmas, tukapewa ye, ye, Na hiyo balance, tukalipa 300, ikabaki 300, tukabewa yeye, tukaenda nae nyumbani. Sasa kuenda nae nyumbani, hile kidonda, ikapona. Kidonda hile kwe mechukua siku nyingi sana, ikapona. Paka kauka, paka kauka. Shortly, shortly, badala ya rudi hospitali, hako rudi. Hile manena ilita mkwa na nduku. Kuli haki muambe, haki muajia hiyo maji. Haku rudi hospitali tena. Tumeka anaye na hakapona hiyo kidonda. Mimi na my sister tukaulizana, ee eh, eh, mamba ya, ya hii maji na maombi ya nduku ni kama ni ya ukweli. Mimi nikaamua nitaenda kwa nduku sasa nyumbani kwake. Nikaenda kwa nduku, nika musalimia, nika lala hapo, haka niambia yeye alikuwa chikoan. Na ndiwa ametoa hiyo maji huko na anaweza kuombea mtu, ee eh, eh, apone, yani Ukipewa hiyo maji, you can use it to anybody, watapona. Sasa, you know, <laughs> Nigeria is very far. And uh, not everybody who can arrive there. Ni watu chache sana wanaeza kuingia ndege hapa waende mbaka Nigeria. Sababu ya kuenda kutibiwa, ama ukopua, ama ukochochote, ukona mambo mbaya mbaya. Lazima ujikusanye, ujitearishe, ichukue muda. Mi nikaenda kwa nduku. Sasa kuenda kwa nduku, Tuka kaka hapa, nikalala kwake. First time. Na mimi silalangi kwa manyumba ya watu wa uko 
kibwezi mbali sana huko nilienda kwake na nikalala hapo sababu ni wa nyumbani na nilikuwa nataka kusikia hiyo safari yake na vile anaongea alafu akatuuliza kwani amjui Emmanuel TV tukasema Emmanuel TV ai Emmanuel TV ni gani na mimi vile napetanga hapa kwa hiyo machano nikikimbia kwenda <laughs> kwa KTN ama NTV mimi naonanga Daystar ama Faith Channel ama TBN mimi siendangi hizo zingine but of course on Sunday morning unaweza kukuta KTN NTV ama Citizen kuna pasta hapo unaweza kukwama hapo tusikie Nikarudi nyumbani nikaenda tukaangalia Emmanuel TV sasa kuangalia Emmanuel TV at first unakuanga uko stuck sababu ile mambo unaona hapo unashangaa Unashanganga hii ni ukweli ama hii ni staged you know what you mean by staging Yaani ni, ni drama wameweka hapo mbele ama ni nini unakuwa mjinga hapo Nikaangalia first day, second day, third day, first week, second week, third week. Nikajikuta mezi bado naamuka nikienda kwa Emmanuel TV. My questions it can it can take hold of me nikasema hii maneno lazima sasa nijue kama ni ukweli. Ah watu wote. Kweli hawa watu wote. Hawawezi kujua kama huu ni mtu wa Mungu wa ukweli. Sasa mimi nikaenda kutafuta zile vitu tatu. Thank you. Nikaenda kutafuta vile vitu tatu atanesema nini anaongea Yesu. Anasema nini nyingine anaongea Holy Spirit. Anafanya nini nyingine anasoma Bible. Anafanya nini nyingine anaita Mungu mwenyewe. This something true must be with this man. Because you should not go God only spiritually. You must know him also intellectually. Lazima ujiulize maswali. Jiulize maswali sio kuinua mikono tu. Saa zingine shangaa. Shangaa kitu aso kishangaa kitu hapo ndio utaona unamkaribia hata nafikiria wanaume wote wameoa hao wasichana wote wameoa huyo msichana ukukutana naye hapa akakustrike na hiyo beauty ama hiyo character uliingia kidogo ukaanga eh eh unachungulia tena 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 mpaka unaona ukaribia yeye karibu ndio sasa unamuuliza a hand in marriage is that correct that's that what men do na women hata pia tunaangalia kwa mbali si ndio sasa mimi nikaenda kwa hiyo Emmanuel TV nikamwambia my sister my sister tuangaliange Emmanuel TV mi ile kitu nimeona pale hebu tuangalie tukaangalia tukaangalia mimi ile excitement yangu ikanishika tena alafu nikaingia kwa akili yangu nikaenda nikachukua na hapo sipoti nikaenda nikachukua kitabu hii kitabu unaona hapa nikaanza kuandika everybody who stands there giving a testimony Nimeandika hapa mpaka nimechoka mkono. This is last year. Mi nikaandika, 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 nikaandika. Hii kitabu ikaisha nikaandia makaratasi, nikaandika, nikaandika. Nikasema hawa watu, these people are not fools. Are these people stupid? Hawa watu wote ni wajinga hawa. Na wale naona kanisani ni wajinga. Kama saa hii mko hapa nyinyi wajinga. Bas, kuna ile mnafuata bas mimi nikaweka chini na hiyo maneno ikaisha nikakaa 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 siku moja let me have this this one siku moja huko kwa nduku alikuwa amenipa hii kitabu hii kitabu imeandikwa morning water renews you mimi siku ile nilienda nyumbani kama kawaida ukinunua kitabu si unajua naendanga through na excitement nikasoma story ya kamusichana kamoja hapa huyo msichana Huyo msichana anaitwa Kimi Skota. Na ndio anaimba anga mnamuona anga hapa kwa eh, eh, kwa Emmanuel. Ndio anaimba anga ile wimbo ya opera singa yule anaimba anga na Spanish. Mnamuona? Sasa njuzi about a month ago. Wakaenda sijui TB Joshua akaenda crusade. Sijui ni Colombia ama ni Peru ama ilikuwa somewhere. Huyo msichana akaimba. Sasa kuimba mimi nikakumbuka eh msichana nilimuona kwa kitabu nilitoa kwa nduku na sasa sijui alikuwa anatibiwa nini hebu nienda nikatafute hii kitabu nitafute huo msichana nijue vile anaimba vizuri hapa na everywhere where tb joshua goes anaenda naye anaenda kuimba hiyo wimbo hiyo wimbo ya, ya, ya solo na ni spanish very nice nikafikiria ni hii kitabu nienda nichukue nijue huo msichana alikuwa mgonjwa nini ndio aende tb sababu ya toki na injeria Sisa South African. Aende nijue alikuwa ametibiwa nini mpaka mpaka amefurahi sana mpaka anaimbanga huko na anakaa huko amekaa kama family. 
Mimi nikaenda nikachukua hii kitabu nikaenda through everybody. Na unajua ukirudia kitabu kuna tabia ya akili. Unataka kwenda hapo mbele kidogo ujue sasa na huyu eh, sasa what happened here? Curiosity. Ah what happened here? What happened here? What happened here? Sasa nika si unajua hapa ni kwa wale watu the big pictures. Kuna small photos ziko hapa mbele. Nikaenda 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 nikaja nikakuta eh Pastor John Ngetich Suffering from tuberculosis is not a laughing matter. This is the caption. Yake. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pastor John Ngetich, age 10 years says, 10 years suffering from tuberculosis is no laughing matter. That is how long it has tormented Pastor John in a teach from Kenya. He vomited blood all the time, had difficulties breathing and coughed uncontrollably. He would be asked to leave a meeting because people could not bear his incessant coughing, which caused him great dis, uh, disgrace and shame. One day, he came across a friend who had previously obtained the anointing, anointing water from the scorn, and he gave him just a spray in his mouth. All the symptoms disappeared, and now he breathes freely. He is healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> now, wakatu wote nilikuwa naangalia TV. Kuna wa Kenya nziwengi sana wanaenda huko, by the way. Nilikuwa naangalia ni watu tu kama mimi, watu wa biashara, wa mama kama mimi, senior citizens like me, e, watu wadogo ndi wanaenda, hata kuna watu wanaenda kutoka Uganda, Tanzania, South Africa, the whole of Africa goes there. The whole of Europe is almost going there. Mimi nimeangalia, nimeangalia, lakini, what surprised me was two things. One, this is a pastor. The word here imesema pastor. I said, how wengine ni majina tu. Joseph, who mungine Mr. and Mrs., Oh, I don't know what. Lakini hapa kuna pasta. Hiyo ikanibeba. Number one. Number two. Ati huyo pasta mengia kwa hii kitabu. Huyo pasta mengia kwa hii kitabu ya TBN Joshua inatembea ntuni ya mzima. Huyo lazima ni mutafute. Now I didn't know how. So. Modern life. Ya na kuenda shule ni kuzuri musome mpaka muanguke nikaenda kwa hii nikaenda kwa hapa nikasema nitagugu nikaenda nikagugu pastor john ngetich ikatokea tatu nikaita wa kwanza hello are you a pastor john ngetich and you went to school no 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 <laughs> Kenda ni katafuta hiyo ingine. John Ngetich. Hello. Are you Pastor John Ngetich? And you went to school? No, first of all, I'm not a pastor. Hi. The third one. Hello. Is that... Uh, now, you know I'm dying somehow. No, I... <laughs> I'm so discouraged. <laughs> Is that uh, Pastor John Ngatich and you went to school? Yes. <laughs> I almost died <laughs> before I came. Nika Mulisa, Aya, you are the one who went to school. Kanambea ndio. Na ulitibi wa tibi ukapona ndio. Na, uko na hiyo maji, ndiyo. Ebu ni ambia nitakuja, uko wapi? <laughs> Nika ni ambia kukericho. Ni 
nikamuliza can I come to see you or will you be coming to Nairobi? Kaniambia I can come. Or I can wait until when he comes to Nairobi. Nikamwambia niambie tu. Tell me where to find you and I'll come. So nikaanza kutayarisha. Nikaenda nikachukua a file nikaanza kuweka because I knew 200% kama ni huyo na amefika kule na ako na mtu alimwekea hiyo maji huyo mtu yuko huyo pasta yuko yeye alifika skon shwali shwali you tell me what to do he will lead me where to go hata kama yeye hataweza atanionyesha huyo mtu ako na hiyo maji bas nikaanza kujitayarisha nikachukua file zangu i have three daughters as i've told you and they are mature people grown up so they have their lives too nikaanza kuchukua vitu yao mapicha yao maisha yao kila kitu naweka pole pole naweka pole pole nikampigia nikaanza kumpigia anga simu every week <laughs> i was making victoria laugh at the back there nikimwambia i was calling the pastor every week nijue tu kama yuko ama ni leota ama <laughs> anyway <laughs> I was coming last Sunday yes Sunday ile ingine ya 8 Nikampigia nikamwambia sasa najitayarisha kuja akaniambia hapana nataka ukuje sababu nataka kukuona one on one eh, tukimaliza service sababu sasa niko na wageni kutoka kutoka Uganda. kutoka Uganda eh, That waiting was like I don't know It was so long the longest waiting I've ever waited Sasa nikangoja hiyo eight nilikuwa karibu kulandi hapa hata nikuje kuongoja wa Uganda ni waende mimi niingie Nikaona ni ngoje tu nikangoja nikamuita kwa simu nikamwambia okay how do i go about this now i'm coming this 15th this sunday today nikamwambia lakini because niko na homa na sisiki vizuri niko na sciatic nerve problem uh, mi nataka nikuje friday na nikiwa nilale nilale tu popote wewe well, don't worry about where i sleep i'll sleep in the hotel alafu ndio sunday ifike nikuje kukuona pale tu nitaambiwa iko na tunakuja Nikaenda nikabuke easy coach nikaingia ya 1 o'clock nikaingia hapa nikachukuliwa na, na pasta nikachukuliwa na pasta Steven and you yes and this gentleman here wakanichukua wakanipeleka pale kwa hoteli okay in between eh, Steven akaniambia nikamwambia nitafutie hoteli akaniambia ile hoteli sunshine tunapeleka anga wageni yetu kuna room nikamuliza ni pesa ngapi akaniambia ni 2000 nikamwambia mimi aunda afford that because now i'm coming abruptly and this sunday i can't miss mtafutie ingine between 1200 1800 akaniita akaniambia nimepata haya basi nikamwambia mimi ndio huyo nakuja nakwambia nikaenda kwa easy coach nikakata tikiti nikakuja nikaland hapa on um, on friday jioni wakanichukua wakanipeleka kwa hiyo hotel inaitwa modern nikakaa hapo eh, eh, jioni nikalala jana wakaniambia wanaenda huko walikuwa wanaongea habari yake If I wasn't feeling sick I would have gone lakini sasa nikaona tu nibaki kwa hoteli na ningoje those waiting two days was, was like a year for me nilikuwa na, nauliza nitafika hapa lini so eh, sunday hata nikaenda kuzurura huko kwa to street eh, na nikaandika street ya eh, pale naishi hapa kwa mkono nikasema sasa nikipotea nitauliza lakini niwacha niende tu siku iende hii siku lazima iende hii ishe kesho ikuje wajua niliamka 4 o'clock this morning na nililala saa sita. Na waza tu. Ai nitafika hapo lini? Mimi this man is TB Joshua eh, assistant. This man, this pastor must. Mimi this pastor, this pastor, this pastor. He must touch me. He must pray for me. He must pray for me. And I've told you three reasons why I came here. I could have gone to anybody in Kenya who has been to Squan. Lakini hao ni mapasta. Hao ni mapasta. Hao wako kwa hii kitabu. Hao walitibiwa na hiyo dawa na wakaenda skwani. Three reasons brought me here. Here I am. Turn together to the Lord. Pigia bwana makofi. Okay. And your miracle is done. Mujiza wako umetendeka.